Welcome to the Christ in Us devotional. Today's devotional is titled, The Anointed of God. But the anointing which you have received from Him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in Him. 1 John chapter 2, verse 27 According to the Scriptures, the followers of Christ are the anointed of God if they have the Holy Spirit. John says that the anointing you receive from the Heavenly Father abides in you, and you do not need someone to teach you because the anointing teaches you all things. Yet the book of Ephesians says that the Lord Jesus gave some as teachers in the body of Christ. The way the Heavenly Father has set things in order in the New Covenant is that He teaches His children personally, and He has also set up teachers that will bring confirmation of what He has taught. John chapter 6 verse 45 says, It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Therefore everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. The Apostle John shows us in his first epistle that the followers of Christ are anointed, and this anointing teaches them. Paul also says, the grace of God teaches us in Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 14, which states, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13, we also see that the Holy Spirit teaches us comparing spiritual things with spiritual. These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. From these three scriptures we see that the anointing, the grace of God and the Holy Spirit teach the followers of Christ. Also, Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. This scripture plainly says that the anointing is the Holy Spirit, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 29 says, Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing, and insulted the Spirit of grace? We also see from this scripture that the grace of God is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of grace. So when we add all this together, we have the Holy Spirit, the anointing, and the grace of God doing the same thing, which is teaching us. The Holy Spirit, the anointing, and the grace of God are one and the same thing. When we ask for more of the grace of God, we are asking for more of the Holy Spirit, and when we ask for more of the Holy Spirit, we are asking for more of the grace of God. When we are being taught by the Holy Spirit, we are being taught by the anointing, for we are talking about the same things here. Psalms chapter 105 verse 15 says, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. Have you ever heard a preacher warn, Do not touch my anointed? They usually say this in connection when someone questions what they are teaching. These are false teachers, and must not be listened to, but exposed. The body of Christ is the anointed of God. The title Christ means anointed. The Lord Jesus is the head of the body of Christ, and 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 12 through 13 says, For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one Spirit. The followers of Christ are anointed with the Holy Spirit by the Heavenly Father who will teach them all things. 
2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 21 through 22 says, Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God, who also has sealed us and given us the Spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. However, the followers of Christ must diligently seek God with their whole hearts. If they come to the Heavenly Father as a humble child, they will be taught by Him and will be taught the secret and hidden things reserved only for His children. Forsake everything that distracts you and commit yourself wholeheartedly to the Heavenly Father, and He will reveal His truth and His wonderful plans He has for you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank You for Your anointing. Thank You for Your Holy Spirit that leads, guides, and teaches me all things. Please help me diligently seek You wholeheartedly, for I long to know Your truth and plans for me. Please grant me the grace so I can walk worthy of the anointing You have given me. Amen. If you have listened to this devotional but have never repented and asked the Lord to come into your life and would like to do so now, pray this. Heavenly Father, I believe the Lord Jesus died and was raised from the dead according to the Scriptures. I come to you asking for you to forgive me and wash me of all my sins. Please cleanse me from all things that are offensive to you. Please do a work in me according to your will so that I may be with you forever when I die. Teach me your ways and the things that please you. Amen. If you have prayed this, please let us know in the comments. I encourage you to ask the Heavenly Father to guide you to a church where you can be baptized in water and can be taught and grow in the Lord. Seek the Lord Jesus and ask Him to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. God bless you.